So this is Will. Um, he's been volunteering with the Broader View here in Xela, Guatemala. Maybe you can introduce yourself quickly. Yeah, hi, I'm Will. I'm from Oregon in the U.S. I've been here in Guatemala volunteering with the Broader View for eight weeks, and I was able to work in two different projects. For the first three weeks, I was in a child care, and for the last five weeks, I was in a medical clinic. And some of the things I got to do in the child care was help them with a video. Um, also made a file for um, height and weight of the children there. And then the most fun thing was playing with the kids in the after school program. Uh, it, was, it was as simple as that. For about two hours or three hours we would just play jump rope or basketball or football. And that was definitely a highlight of my trip. And it was a lot of good practice for Spanish with the kids. Um, in the health clinic, in the medical clinic, um, I was introduced to a lot of new things, so I would say that was one of the one of the really good experiences that I had um, down here. Um, and I was exposed to some different things, so it was just stretched me as a person, which was good. Um, I got to inject a lot of vaccines um, into all ages, uh, people that needed uh, rabies shots or tetanus shots or the childhood vaccines. Um, and the longer you're there, the kind of the more the staff at the medical center allow you to, they'll let you do a little bit more. And it was, it was really cool. So every week, um, I could kind of expect something new. And what was the most memorable part of your volunteer experience? Um, the people, I think, would be the biggest memory. Um, what I love about traveling isn't necessarily the places that I see or the things that I do, but it's the people that you meet. And my host family was really nice. It was great to spend eight weeks with the same group of people. Um, it was a lot more like a family that way. Um, and then also I have local friends in Guatemala now. And like we would go play football at night or um, go have dinner and uh, I really enjoyed the people of Guatemala. Like what more tacos. <laughs> and how was your accommodation like in the family? The accommodation was really good. It was better than I expected. Um, the house was big and fairly westernized, which made the trans transition pretty easy for me. Um, yeah, no, no real serious complaints. Occasionally that I'd get shocked by the shower, but <laughs> more, for the most part that's just going to be a funny memory. <laughs> And you also did Spanish classes in the first four weeks? Yep, um, I did Spanish classes for the first four weeks. Um, I had two different teachers, so got some diversity in teaching style. Um, and I not only was able to practice Spanish with my Spanish teacher, but I was learning the correct way and the grammatical form for everything. And so I feel like even, even though I'm leaving Guatemala now, um, I got to a point where I can read Spanish decently well, and so I'll be able to continue to practice. Um, and I know the grammar, even though I can't necessarily speak everything, but I know the grammar, and so I'll be able to read, and so the Spanish classes were a big help. And what did you do in Shayla in your free time? Um, well, in Shayla, not a ton. I left Shayla a lot, which was <laughs> great, because every there's some really cool spots to see that are all a weekend trip. Um, I was able to go to the coast, and those of you that are from the west coast of the U.S., um, it's the best Pacific Ocean I've ever been to, the best part. Um, the water was really nice, the food was different, and the people were different. Um, also went to a lake called Lago Atitlan, and that was beautiful. I actually went back a few times because it was so beautiful. Um, and then other things was go to the football games um, in Shela with the team Shela Hu. Um, and that was a lot of fun because the culture around here is very sentimental over their football and so I think that's an important part. And why did you choose a broader view and how was their support? Um, a broader view for, I chose a broader view for a few different reasons. I looked into quite a few different companies and or different nonprofits in Central America um, and a broader view, uh, honestly one reason just got back to me quicker and knew a little bit more about my experience down here 
And so I was able to choose, like, oh, I, I know what I'm getting into versus some other ones. I wasn't really sure, and I didn't want to take that risk. Um, so there's one. The other was, I really like the climate, um, the high climate here in Shella. And that was probably one of the bigger factors. Um, the temperature swing here is really cool. It's really warm right now. I'm in a shirt and I'm a little hot, but in the nighttime you have to wear a sweater and I, I really like that change. So it's really good for sleeping. Um, uh, but yeah, a broad of you seemed like they had a, a program established, um, ready for volunteers to come down here and be productive. Okay. And would you recommend this program to future volunteers and do you maybe have any tips for them? For the future volunteers? Yes. Um, yeah, I'd recommend the program to future volunteers. I'd recommend staying longer than a week or longer than two weeks. I know not everyone really can stay for that long. Um, but it was a great life experience um, that yeah, I was allowed to um, be a part of. And um, tips would be... Um, I don't know, it, it, was pretty, it was pretty easy, everything was all set up for me. And so there's not a lot of preparation. Um, learn as much Spanish as you can before because every little bit you know, it just makes the rest a little bit easier. Um, watch out for the showers because they shock you. Um, and, and learn as much as you can about the local ways because you can definitely tell when, when I know the local ways, the people notice and they appreciate that. Okay, well, thanks a lot for your time here. I hope you had fun. Yeah. And have a good trip back home. Thank you. Volunteer with the Broader View in Guatemala.